back again, and this time I stopped by the D2 booth. Now, in case a lot of you aren't aware of what D2 is, I'm going to talk to John here, and he's going to explain a little bit about it. But I know some of you have been asking questions about tombstones, how to clean the tombstones, how to make them look nice. Um, hey, Victoria. Hey, Vic. Um, so he's going to explain about it, the product, and how you guys can get the product. So I'll let you take it away. Okay. Thank tell me you. about. Tell them about it. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. So um, D2 is a uh, solution that you just spray onto the gravestones and it will safely clean them without any detrimental effects. It's also used on uh, buildings and other structures, but uh, for genealogists, the primary uh, interest is gravestones. For gravestones. Because gravestone. genealogists tend to be very interested in historic gravestones. And so um, the thing about it is it's non-acidic and it's actually slightly alkaline, which means that it's not going to be harmful at all. And it's um, formed from quaternary ammonias and surfactants, and it's designed to safely clean historic stone. It's also even safe for wood and other materials. And um, it's a great product, very easy to use, and you can simply spray it on and walk away, and it'll have amazing results. Okay, so, um when spraying it on, is there a certain amount, or are there instructions that come with it when you purchase it on how to apply it? And um, yeah, every container it? certainly has directions, okay. but it's extremely simple to use. And so really there's two different application procedures. One would be simply spray it on till the stone is wet and um, you know noticeably wet and just walk away and that way it will um, kind of work its way in and just um, remediate the mold. It will, um, as it you know, kills it off, um, it'll, it'll bring the stone back to its original color. Okay. Um, the other uh, procedure, which is a faster uh, technique to get immediate results, is to spray it on, wait about 10 or 15 minutes, and then use a, uh, a brush, not a metal brush, but just a soft bristle brush, lightly, with a lot of water okay. um, and a, a spray bottle, and just rinse it off, and that will give you quicker results. Sometime amazing results within 10 or 15 minutes, other times it will take um, longer still because the a lot of the staining is underneath the surface right stone as many people don't realize is porous and so kind of picture a sponge it's actually uh, absorbing the um, the staining is actually under the surface so okay. no matter how much you brush with just simple water a lot of times it will never clean it because the staining is not on the surface it's beneath the surface okay. in the in the spores that are under the uh, actual outside of the stone. So okay. the uh, principle of the D2 is that when you apply it through capillary action, it gets under the surface and it'll reach those kind of spores and where the mold is uh, uh, kind of uh, taken root and then it will um, slowly um, you know, remove that and then it will allow the stone go, to go back to its original color. Okay, so and one of the things that a gentleman I was speaking with earlier was explaining to me D2 is actually used in um, some of the federal cemeteries, some of the national cemeteries. They actually use it. It's been approved to use on those tombstones. So it's a yep. very safe product. Absolutely. Um, the, the NCPTT, yeah. which is a long acronym, but it stands for the National Center for Preservation Technology and Training, mm -hmm. actually did research and testing with D2 for uh, six years, I believe, and they came out with great results. Okay. And um, in fact, the NCPTT is a good place for knowledge as well, and they have a website, and Jason Church does a lot of um, outreach and videos there, so it's another place for people to go seek knowledge. Okay, all right, perfect. Um, I'm gonna have some information, hold on, I gotta click on my screen. I'm gonna have some information that I'm gonna put down below on how they can contact you and sure. look at purchasing some of the, the product. Now, do you ship? Of course, yeah, and so um, we're here with, um, D2 is actually directly represented here at this event, but my company is called Atlas Preservation, and we ship nationally, and um, you know, we ship out every day that, um, that they, they send things out, Monday is a holiday, but other than that, we ship out five days a week, okay. and, um, and so yes, we, can, uh, we take orders over the phone or online with okay. a secure, easy online order. Okay, and you have a picture here to show it. This, uh, is, this a is a before and after picture. Of now look the, at this, guys. You got to take a look at D2, this. And this is actually in the back of the uh, conference um, flyer. Can I see that? Yeah. And then also on the back of this is a long list of historically significant um, sites 
that um, the D2 has been used at. Um, one of the things with any product that you're going to use, not limited to stone cleaning or D2, is always looking for testing, but also a track record. And when um, conservators or architects are specifying uh, products, they're very leery and careful to only use things that have a proven track record that are okay. safe and proven effective. And so um, that's what D2 is. It's very safe and it's very effective and it's very easy to use and that's why it's great for amateurs and volunteers and you know people that don't have a lot of expertise. So for all of you that had questions for me about cleaning the headstones, no, you don't use Comet. No, you you know that's not the way to go to clean those uh, to look at them. No, no. Give this product a look because it's safe for the head, it's safe for the tombstone. It's safe for the buildings. Um, they even used it on, you said, on wood to clean it. Like actually, the there was um, a, a historically significant Frank Lloyd Wright property was recently cleaned that was wood. And there was an article in uh, Preservation Magazine, which is the National Trust for Historic Preservation's publication. Mm -hmm. uh, there was recently a, a long, detailed article about that process, and they said it was, um, I forget the exact wording they used, but they um, were extremely complimentary of the results and very happy with the, uh, the product and its performance. Okay. So, um, so yeah, my, um, my company is, is Atlas Preservation, and um, you can also call me for personally uh, for technical, with technical questions, uh, my phone number is 860-558-2785. And what I do for a living, besides selling products, is I perform gravestone preservation workshops nationally, and I've worked in over 35 states. And I also um, do projects working on historic gravestones and monuments. And recently, I was working at Jamestown in Virginia on possibly the oldest gravestone in America. Oh, and wow. And if you search the terms Jamestown Knight's Tomb, you will come up with a video they made at Jamestown about the project and about me working on it. There's actually a three-part video. Okay, so you guys go on to Jamestown, and it's the Knight's Tomb. K-N-I-G-H-T-S. And that way you can see a video of him cleaning him and... Uh, not so much cleaning, but it's all about um, reworking this specific, unique... Okay. Uh, gravestone and there is some cleaning involved um, but it was inside and was not um, did not have conditions relating to biological activity which are common for gravestones because it was a unique setting so okay. it's a little different but it is a extremely historically significant and interesting video okay perfect so if you guys want if you guys are here at the conference at the FGS conference 2017 FGS conference here in Pittsburgh stop by the booth what do you know what booth number you I do we're in we're, 127 and okay. 226 and one yep right 127 226 and come and see, talk to them stop by say hi and find out more about their product okay and like I said I will put links and information attached to this so you guys can click on it and visit their sites and give them a call. All right, talk to you guys later. Thank Bye. You.